Hello guys, it's Raging Raptor here and I am finally over this stupid ass long week of not responding to anything with new videos and things like this and new super test news because there are new super test tanks which are quite interesting and also a little bit meh. But yeah, and I wanted to start again my videos today or the new video series with a little vlog which I do today the first time. Why exactly? Because I think some of you might wonder why I was not able to do any videos the last few days or at least the last one and a half week. So yeah, why was it so? Hmm. It was because it started on Wednesday and on this Wednesday was my last school day till this week and yeah this week was till this week from Tuesday to Saturday, I was in Davos, a little, well not a little, a quite big mountain. No, not big mountain, big mountain, how should I say, village. Yeah, village. Uh, what was probably interesting there is, I was invited to go there for a competition about science. And it is basically called um, Swiss Science... Um, um, Swiss Youth Science Competition and youth in the, in the, how should I say, in the thinking of teenagers, 18, 20 years old guys which want to show something of their self, what they did. For example, as a final work for their last um, year in college or high school, how you want to call it. So yeah, and I was just like, hey, my final work was not that good in particular because uh, my grammar is quite meh. Also sometimes in English when you see it in the comments below, grammar is not my s strength. It's my weak spot <laughs> when you want to talk about terms of World of Tanks. But yeah, and I was able to go there, I was invited because my, um, how should I say, I invented my invention was something which they thought was really cool and yeah so I was there three days um, had the chance to show what was my idea what I do I want to do with this invention and get some prizes which is literally cool and I think now you are quite wondering what are those prizes uh, but see, no no etc fuck it you might not wonder why and with what I was able to get there well Basically, it was this thing. I call it by myself a bionicle spine. Why exactly a bio bionicle spine? I will tell you. Because this is my this was my final work. I did from scratch something as a. I got some parts from the 3D printer, and I'll just have should have everything around here which I also have. I have a 3D printer down there. I think you already saw it from a video of mine where I just made a time-lapse of a 3D printing Raptor Claw for my presentation and I uploaded it on YouTube. So yeah, and I have my own 3D printer so I started to do things with it and this was the first thing. I wanted to do something highly m flexible and also stable and also I want to move it around with engines with little electric engines. And this is the first idea basically. We're just some quarters with um, rectangles with some holes in it and some foam in between. And basically I could squeeze it, I could turn it around and think like this. And you can also um, fuck it on the keyboard and it, nothing happens to it. But the problem was the, the, the flexibility. Um, it was not so agile. Basically there I had more, it was able to bend more than here in this things. So I made a new prototype which was something like this. And after I did this I saw yeah stable my ass. So basically then I just combined the foam which was the problem in the beginning that it squeezed too much with this little thing up here which I already showed you down there. So yeah and this is a spine because it was insp inspired by a spine. I needed something like um, the things between each 
spine bone things. I'm sorry. I made everything on German, but in January I need to do this in English. And this is what will come later too. So yeah, and what is the idea of this thing? Th this thing should be an application to something which, for example, I don't know, for cameras, for example, when you want to make a stative, where you just put something, a camera, some there on here, and you can move it around. And I will show you. I'm sorry, it is not that good anymore. As you can see, the um, the strings are not fastened up quite good. But I have two battery boxes and two little controls. And with these two little controls and these battery boxes, I am able to move this thing around, as you can see. And and I need to see that it's uh, do everything right. And as I can see, it really works well. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And yeah, this was the idea of this thing. So what did I do? I showed them this. I could say, yeah, I could use this as a stative for a camera, probably push it around, can say, oh yeah, look, you want in this position, you want to look up here, put it down here, and it handles. It's it's not moving anymore because the, the, mm, the strings would be fastened up so hard that nothing will happen anymore to them. And you have a problem, you want to do something else, like, I don't know, you have it in this position, but you want that the camera is looking like this and not like this. I have this one. And this is another engine, which I can just say, put up here, fasten it up again with some strings, and hooray! We have three degrees of freedom in the rotation. Um, yeah, this is my innovation. And why is it so innovative? This three degrees of freedom is the innovation in this thing. So yeah. I already also talked to some guys from which were coming from microtechniques um, where they just needed something which is able to do some, how should I say, um, change something from the vertical and the horizontal and using as less um, space as possible. And as you can see, with this thing, I'm able to do it. I can even turn it around as much as I want, as you can see, but yeah. And yeah, this is this is what this thing was, my bionicle spine. And I showed them to them, I showed them an expert team with many people, uh, many highly skilled people, especially my expert was, I don't know, seriously, he is amazing. His name was Dr. Jimmy Willard and he has a degree in technical engineering as well as he worked at the NASA and has now um, um, the diplom, I think, in in um, hmm, in snipping around on your brain. I don't know the exact word at the moment. I'm sorry. So basically, he's allowed to do neuro neuron things on your brain. Basically, snipping around like a doctor does. I think it's Kirok, but I'm not sure. Okay, and he also does it with the spine, and he's really high skilled in this thing. And he said this is really something cool. And it's really could even be a really really cool and big innovation, and basically all of those experts which um, which saw my product and which all also showed them thought, hey, this is seriously something cool. Um, yeah, then this was on Friday and on Saturday um, afternoon, we were able to do something like yeah, they were giving us prizes. Everyone got a prize and they were classified in good. Very good, very good with a special price and excellent. With a special price, obviously. And yeah, for every price categ category, you get some money, a diplom, and yeah, things like this. Um, I was able to get a um, diplom, which is called um, very good, and a special price as well. And um, this special price is something huge. Why is it huge? I am able in January to go with this model, obviously um, better up, upgraded it with probably a little Arduino board, as you probably know what it is, going seven days to Taipei in Taiwan, to an international science fair. And oh boy, 15 hours of flight. Meanwhile, I am in military, so I need to get some absence from there. But hell yeah! It's amazing that I can go with this little thing, which is now loosened up so freaking hard, to go to Taiwan. And I'm 
was also able to get with this very good, with this um, diploma very good, I also got 800 francs with francs, which is a huge amount of money. And this money I will invest in mostly a new PC with finally a better microphone. With a real microphone, which is something like here, or um, I don't know, uh, not something like this, because I want better sound quality, I want that you guys have a better sound quality from myself, and yeah, and this was my work, and I was so surprised, and after that, I came home at the evening of Saturday, and Sunday I was learning, and had this week five huge tests, Monday, English, four hours, Tuesday, four hours essay in German, Wednesday, Four hours French and oh god, fuck French, seriously. Tuesday, four hours maths. And today, which is of co obviously finally over, that's why I do this video now, um, we had physics and um, higher leveled maths, like something with imaginary numbers and things like this. Um, yeah, now finally over, these were the finals which I needed to do. Also, later on in one month, roughly, I have an oral um, finals as well in those five um, yeah, five things. Um, then I'm finally over, and after that, I'm going one week to holiday, and then I'll join the army because we still have to go to the army as a teenager. Uh, not teenage, teen, yeah, I don't know, 18 year old guy. You have to go in Switzerland. It's it's a stated law. And then I will be only available every second, um, every week on the weekends. Okay. This is the biggest problem mostly, but before I will make also a video again and say what is going to happen and I'm so happy that you guys stayed with me. I even gained some subscribers, which is seriously amazing for me. <laughs> and yeah. So now, Half my finals done. I don't have any more tests over. I will n now do for the last few m for the last month a really schedule schedule where I'm streaming, so you know how I play, how I rage, obviously. Um, also, we'll see more World of Warships gameplay. I would say because I already enjoy the game; it makes quite fun. But first, today we'll have a look at two new tanks from the super test, and it's basically the. Aufklärungs Panther replacement, the SP1C tier 7 light tank, and oh boy, that thing is funny. I only say Ru Scan, the 90mm gun, with a drum and three shots. And then we also get the Sherman um, Revalorisé. Revalorisé. I hope I said it right for any French hero, I don't know. I cast Super Sherman. Basically, a Sherman with a 105mm gun, and yeah, that's it. So yeah, thanks guys for staying with me, I will set up everything for the f next few videos. I will finally get a new computer where I will be able to do much more videos. Why? Better graphics, better Intel Core processor, better mainboard, ah, everything better. Because laptops are good, but not that good. And yeah. After that, I hope we'll gain again a high amount of subscribers because hey, I gained so much in the last few months. And after that, probably some more. Um, how should I say? Views would be nice. But yeah, I have to say thanks for staying with me. Thanks for not leaving like yeah, oh, he's not doing anything. Um, yeah, I hope you like that vlog. It's mostly me just talking about random stuff and thing. Uh, I hope it's okay for you. If so, yeah. Thank you very much. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching and good luck on the battlefield. And yeah, bye-bye. <laughs>